Cristina. Hola. Quiñones, bienvenidos a... Cristina. Café en Mano Podcast. Pero no last name. No last name? Sí. Ya. Yeah. It's only like C-R-I-S-T-N-A. Oh, ok, ok. Yeah. So, so that you know, just in case. Ya lo sé. So okay. like, no, we don't, put, we don't put Cristina Quiñones. Sí, sí, ok, ya lo sé. So, bienvenidos a Café en Mano. Así. Like Cristina. Like sí, capitalized. sí, la tengo aquí, la tengo aquí. Yeah. Y... Uh. Bueno, artista... Uh -huh. eh, tremenda voz uh -huh. Varios singles ¿Tienes álbum? No ¿Tuviste álbum? ¿Son no. singles? I'm working on EP though Se, Me contaron Un pajarito Que empezaste Covers Hace muchos años atrás Y pues has evolucionado uh -huh. A tus propios singles uh -huh. eh, Cuéntame Que A los que no saben La comunidad cafetera A los cafeteros no. Como te digo, puedes usar inglés, español, como sea, porque sé que el español es tu segundo lenguaje. Eh, ¿Quién es Cristina? Cristina es... Um... Oh. Sí, sí. <risa> Your dog. Sí, sí, sí. Um, she is a Atlanta artist okay. who is Latina. Um, I love the Latin culture, so I love being Puerto Rican and Mexican. Uh -huh. um, so I always want to make, I want to make sure that I incorporate that in everything that I do. Um, sí, esa mezcla es bien única. Eres yeah. Mexica, mexicana mm -hmm. y puertorriqueña. Mm -hmm. Eso debe ser tan... ¿Fue difícil? ¿Qué edad tú tienes? So like, which one do I, do I feel like... <laughs> is that what you're asking me? Sí, como of? que tuviste... De, debió ser difícil encontrar un identity. Like, who do I, who do I, which one do I identify uh -huh. with, basically? I've been asked this before. ¿En verdad? Yes. Okay. And I remember I was like, because they're like, okay, you gotta, okay, do you want, do you want uh, tostones or do you want tacos? Like, which one do you want? <laughs> And I'm like, that's hard because I love tacos. Like, I, I love being Mexican, mm -hmm. but I've, and I'm more Mexican than I am Puerto Rican. Okay. Pero, Pero I've always identified more with being Puerto Rican. Hence why I do, like, tropical pop music. Bello, bello. You know what I mean? Like, I love the way, like, reggaeton and reggae and, like, all that, like, all that other stuff. Like, cumbia, like, all the other, not cumbia, not cumbia, not, not cumbia. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, all those, like, more, like, tropical sounds, mm -hmm. which, when you go to Puerto Rico, it's like that, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 I love being Mexican, but I don't listen to a lot of, like, Tejano music. Sí, you know what I mean? Entiendo. Yeah. So... Sí, como que... Yo, no, yo hay veces que no entiendo como que... Ya, en verdad, los mexicanos son muy patriotas porque... O sea, yo escucho su música y yo... No, I can't stand it. O sea, oh, I can't grandma, stand it. I'm sorry. <laughs> He doesn't mean it. <laughs> Oye, no, no. Y, y no es eso, pero... It's, it's muy diferente. That's claro, the thing. Claro, porque yo estoy it's claro like, que si, si me hubiese It's like un pa, un pa, un pa, un pa. It's like... Like, I love, I love it. It's like... We play it at family stuff, uh -huh. but I've always connected more with being Puerto Rican. Uh -huh. um, I'm sorry, mom. Sí. Lo siento. Porque tu, tu, porque tu padre es puertorriqueño, ¿verdad? Sí, mi papá es boricua. Ok, ok. Yeah. Sí, sí. Entonces, se, me estabas diciendo antes de empezar que se crió en Nueva York. Ya. Yeah. Y entonces, ¿tú te criaste acá? Uh, ¿En, ¿En Nueva Al York? En Atlanta. ¿En Atlanta? Oh, like, when did he move down here? No, no, como que... Este, me estabas contando que, pues, él se crió allá. Uh -huh. So, ¿conoces Puerto Rico a través de los ojos de tu papá que se crió en Estados Unidos? ¿O él se mudó, vivió un tiempo en Puerto Rico y se mudó? ¿Cómo fue esa transición de...? O sea, lo que quiero saber es cómo es la, la perspectiva tuya de Puerto Rico viviendo desde acá. Mm. Um... Ah, God. 
you have to repeat that question again? <laughs> My mind like, is like everywhere. No te preocupes. Como que, how did you feel? What's your perspective oh. de Puerto Rico? Oh, I should have gotten. I knew you said perspective, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, I know he's asking about that. Sorry, guys. Sí, sí, My sí. Spanish is a little funny. Um, uh, so uh, I love it. I love it. Me encanta Puerto Rico. Sí. Yes, la isla. I mean, uh, la no, playa. Yeah. Um, it's so it's beautiful. Last time I was there, um, la, comi la comida, uh -huh. everything like um, the people. It's so alive, like, and everybody's so nice. But they're also going through so much mm -hmm. right now. But it's funny because it's not funny, but it's it. When I was down there volunteering, I'm sorry, this is not in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> when I was down there volunteering, um, sí, sé que me estaba diciendo que que pasaste un, ter yeah. un terremoto. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Porque fuiste cuando estaba mm -hmm. el terremoto. Yeah, the the kids that were going through it, Damn. they were still smiling. Like they didn't even. It's like they didn't even know anything was going on. And they were sleeping in, like, tents. Ah, porque tú, tú te quedaste, me dijiste, por el área. Te estabas por Ponce, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm, en Ponce. Ponce mm -hmm. es por el sur. ¿En Guay Guayanilla? Guaya eh, Guayanilla. Guayanilla. Guayanilla, sí, sí. Guayanilla, sí, sí. Um, and, uh, I want to say, uh, gosh, there was, another, there was another city, like, a little, another one that was right. Guay Guayabo? No. Guay Guayabo? No. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> eh, justamente al lado de, por Ponce, tú dices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, este, Guayanilla. Guayanilla. Y, y um, Ponce, it's an Aguadilla. Aguadilla. Aguadilla got really messed up. Um, but San Juan's like fine. It's chilling. Sí, los de, los de San Juan como que lo sintieron bien poco. Mi, ma, mi mamá vive en, en San Juan. Y yeah, no, they, no they, they, they didn't even feel anything. Sí, como que lo sintieron uno o dos porque los más que fueron de, de seis, del terremoto que fue más de seis algo. Yeah. Pero... They were cool. Sí. Like sí. everybody was like, oh, I didn't feel anything. Como I'm like, si nada. What? <laughs> Sí, pero la isla, lo que pasó es que, para los que no saben, pues Puerto Rico pasó, pues, el huracán María y, y fue una de las co cosas que... Oh, yeah. Que, pues... Well, yeah. Ponce was, like, it was bad after, Después like, del, after del, del, del huracán. Hurricane. Sí, yeah. todo, todo Puerto Rico, en verdad, like, pero... no, it was bad. Eh, todo Puerto Rico estaba... I heard that the trees, like, it took them forever just for, like, the trees to grow sí. back the leaves. And when, when the lady was driving me, she was telling me the whole story about mm. how, like... Basically, um, the states weren't sending things over with the boat. And mm -hmm. so now Puerto Rico had to like grow their own crops and do everything by themselves because they weren't getting any supplies like food and everything like that sí. after the hurricane. Sí, sí, and sí. it was like heartbreaking because like you could see like their farms were like, they're like, I went to Ponce and they're like farms made like every, like it's just crazy. Mm -hmm. Crops are being built, like everything like that sí. because they're afraid of going through the same thing and not having help from the states. Claro. You know? Claro. Sí, no, en verdad fue un proceso bien difícil. Yo lo viví solamente... Yo, yo solamente lo viví dos semanas. Pero... O sea, después me vine acá. Uh -huh. Y... Con, pero con todo ese proceso, nosotros, pues... Aprendimos. Yeah. Porque cuando pasó lo de los terremotos, toda la isla. Yeah. No sé si te diste cuenta, me imagino. Porque ya tú estabas más o menos en, en mi, a mitad, como que casi acabándose, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Cuando tú llegaste... Eh, cuando visitaste Puerto mm -hmm. Rico. So, pero cuando eso empezó, que empezaron los terremotos bien fuertes, toda la isla dio la mano. Eh, habían tapones de vagones, ¿sabes? De los mismos ciudadanos del área media, de toda yeah. la isla, ayudando a, a las áreas afectadas de Puerto Rico. That's crazy. Ya, yeah, porque un montón de casas se quedaron sin... Y todavía no se, no se han caparado. A lot of stuff the news doesn't get... Like when I was there, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, you don't see this on the news. No, no, no. no todo, lo, todo, lo que, todo lo que ha pasado es que... Bueno, es que en el, el mundo completo, como ahora with social media... Yeah. El, That's the only todo way. Todo el mundo sabe lo que está yeah. sucediendo. Yeah. Sí. And I was just making sure that, like... It was just heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. I saw... Ooh, I just burped. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> el cafecito. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was the coffee. <laughs> Damn. Um, there was an old man who's... Um, house was completely cracked open damn yeah and um it was hard to see him because he was talking about it and mm -hmm. he was like i had just finished renovating it sí, la and then mala. the earthquake hit he had just finished fixing it up he was about to move his family in and then the earthquake happened and it like tore it down mm -hmm. and it was heartbreaking because he's just standing in front of the house like just heartbroken no me quiero imaginar. No me quiero And, but imaginar. it's, you know what the, the most bizarre thing to me is, though? Mm -hmm. It's like, like, it's such a small island, mm -hmm. okay? 
like, and okay, this is gonna get so political. No, 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 <laughs> but aquí, like, this is why the people are so mad at the government. Like, this is why the Puerto Rican people are so mad at the government because no. they should not be living in those type of conditions. No, none of them. Like after driving down and seeing everything, none of them should be living under those conditions. No, y, y ahora mismo, por eso es que muchas de las personas están molestas. O sea, están yeah. molestas porque, por todo lo que ha, ha sucedido. Y, este... Pues ahora mismo como que... Las personas... Es, se está escuchando más de ellos. Mm. De, de, como que, mira, yeah. estamos, estamos molestos. Mm -hmm. We're pissed. Yeah. No, they're hear mad. Us. They hear were like... Hear, they, hear us out. Yeah, entiende? they had, like... Because they changed the flag to, like, black or something. Sí, en, con, en, yeah. Como que en... Yeah, in um, San Juan or something like uh -huh. that. And... Somebody asked me, they were like, oh, come with us to the, it's not like a riot, but it's like, it's sort of like a riot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, come to us with the la protest. Marcha, la yeah, protest. Yeah, yeah, the march. Sí, yeah, sí, yeah. Sí. And I was like, I was like, um, oh, I can't, I'm going to be volunteering that day. And I'm so glad I didn't go because there was people that were like spraying like gas or something like that. Sí, eso pasa mucho. And I was like, whoa, I'm so happy I did not go because that would have not been fun <laughs> like sí. at all. Um, but I do get it. Like, I, I understand. Like, no, I don't think any of... It's inhumane. Sí, sí, sí. It's inhumane. Because mm -hmm. I, I'm like... I'm like... Look, this is... This island is probably smaller than, like, most cities in Atlanta. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Sí, sí, sí. So it's like... For... To see that it's not taken care of and that they're not worried about their people. Sí, esa es la cuestión que son... Que son... Son americanos. Yeah. O sea, son, son literalmente... Somos parte de Estados Unidos. Mm-hmm. And they don't give a shit about us. No, y, because they consider Puerto Rican like it, it, the most ignorant como, thing. Como a little vacation pa, yeah. Pa ello. Yeah. But sí. they don't consider it like 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 Americans, mm -hmm. which is still kind of sí. screwed up. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it makes no sense. I'm just like, you know, it's disrespectful. I've I've being Mexican and being Puerto Rican, I've I've felt like, especially with so much going on like politically, it's been like a hit. It's hit both of my sides, uh -huh. you know. Sí, sí. And I'm just like, dang, like mm -hmm. that's just like you don't like me, you uh -huh. know. Sí, sí, te entiendo. Te entiendo. <laughs> it's like you genuinely don't like me, mm -hmm. um, you know, because my my mom's side is Mexican, so it's like I have family that so, okay. crossed over. So, oh, so do. Tú te consideras, do you consider como en tu familia está más is, is more vivid la cultura mm, mexicana. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That part hits hard. <laughs> sí. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, he gets it. Sí, um, sí, sí. It hits hard. It hits hard. It's like it's like um you know, it's seeing my cousins who you know came over for a better life or even my grandfather who came over for a better life and mm -hmm. you know like it, it's so ignorant to me that people don't understand that concept you know what I mean like like they want better for their children or they want better for their future and you that you're taking that that away from them based on what nothing mm -hmm. we clean we clean half the crap that you don't want to take care of we cook the food you don't want to make yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean we clean the houses you don't want to clean so it's mm -hmm. like That's what that's so ignorant to me, and it makes me upset because I'm like, you know, I like it's it, again, it's inhumane, so it's injustice, you sí, know? Sí, sí. so it's injustice on both sides, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I'm like, okay, you got Puerto Rico who basically is l like not being taken care of, their people are not being taken care of, and then you have Mexico and kids being taken in cages, mm -hmm. <laughs> like it's just ridiculous, sí. you know, so yeah, I'm infuriated, I'm like pissed. Mm -hmm. You know, so do I? Do I like the government? Not a, not a big, not a big deal. I mean, not really. So sí, sí. I don't. That's eh, honest. So sé que sé que una de tus ca de tus canciones, eh, White Flag. Eh? White Flag, yeah. Eh, yeah. Es como que en... yeah, it's about what was going on. I wanted to incorporate, like, that was right when Mr. T got mm. into office around that time. Oh, okay, okay. And so I um I remember just. He doesn't like that name. <laughs> so, I know, boo-boo. Um, it, was, it was right when he, you know, at that time I was very angry. And so I, I wrote that song in L.A. And I had a concept of how I want the music video. ¿Tú escribes todas tus canciones? No, that, that song I, I co-wrote with a friend of mine. 
Okay. Sí, yeah, yeah. Un, un, co yeah. un collaboration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I wrote that. I, collab I collaborated with a friend of mine and we worked on that song together. And um, I just remember telling her, I was like, I, I want to do it. Like, like I, wanna, I want the music video to be about the injustice that's happening in the United States right now. And mm -hmm. like, you know, talk about both sides. There's just like my Mexican side, my Puerto Rican side, like these parts that... Um, collide together. Yeah, collide together, you know. Uh -huh. I was so, I mean, during that time I was pissed. I was a mad person. ¿Hace cuánto fue eso? Like, when... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> It's like, so... Like POTUS. Yeah, POTUS, so... Uh, I get, like, when it comes to, like, when it comes to, like, politics, like, me and my mom are, like, pretty, like, passionate about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I feel like people sh are, like, especially back then, I don't feel like people were very vocal mm -hmm. for a really long time especially people that are younger than me were never vocal about mm -hmm. politics, but mm -hmm. it's a great thing that people are now. Sí, 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 de acuerdo. Yeah. Ahora hay mucho, está mucho más presente que oh antes. God, I keep burping. <laughs> God, this freaking coffee. Oh, no, it's <laughs> this thing. It's a sparkling uh, water. It's <laughs> messing me up. <laughs> I mixed it together. Bienvenido oh, my God. I'm sorry. No te preocupes, nadie. No se escuchó. Dang, it's going to be in there. <laughs> They'll hear my burp. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> Oh pero God. no se escucha pero no se escucha así cuando te escuchan cantar porque eh, para eso estamos aquí para que la gente I gotta, start, play, I gotta start putting my burps in my songs <laughs> una, una, una canción solamente de burps yeah yeah only the burps like sí. don't put anything every time you ask a question just put my burps in as a response that's, that's a great that's, that, that's, that's a great that's TikTok a great that's a great TikTok right there that dude that'd be amazing TikTok sí, sí, sí. my gosh I just started getting into that and I'm kind of disappointed in myself <laughs> en verdad verdad porque TikTok es como un es como un Twilight Zone que tú entras y there's no way yo, yo le llevo ignorando tanto tiempo por eso mismo oh man TikToks are weird they're weird don't, uh -huh. don't get it. I don't know I f yeah I feel like it's some weird like universe that I'm yeah. just like now a part of now <laughs> sí, I can't, I can't stop watching them it's very weird I like I'll be up and I'll be like oh it's been three hours and I'm just like swiping through it uh -huh. it's depressing es un, es I've made a couple too <laughs> <laughs> like I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm like I'm 26 and I'm making a TikTok, <laughs> and then like I'm like oh shit, and like they get views, and I'm shocked. Sí, porque it has like a tiene un algo un algoritmo bien orgánico, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. mejor mucho mejor so que el de organic. que it's weird, mucho mejor que Instagram, Facebook it's, or Twitter. It's, it's like bigger than both. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. the weirdest thing. Like, I'm like, wow. And then, because my, my uh, publicist kept telling me to get into it. And I was uh -huh. like, no, no way. I'm not going to do it. This sí, is sí. pathetic. And then I started noticing everybody was getting into it. And I was like, okay, I should probably jump on this bandwagon right now. Because uh -huh, <laughs> uh -huh. everybody's doing this. So I um, I made a couple. And they're pretty funny. And, um, well, I mean, they're funny to me. Sí, no, no. Pero... <laughs> I think I'm a pretty funny person. So tú eres like, súper graciosa, como que me gustan los, los, los videitos que tú haces de, 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 en tu Instagram que he visto. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't... Like, you know what's weird? I've made a couple. I'm like, I'm not posting them to Instagram. Like, did you see the one that I made? El de... El, the, el, like, big-headed yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that, that one. shit made me laugh. <laughs> I, like, made it and I go, should I post this? And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'll just do it. Like, I don't even care. And then, mm -hmm. I, and then I made... I don't know. I've been making stupid ones. Sí, sí. I've been really creative, though, recently. But oh, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, it's because my, mm -hmm. my wheels are turning. Mm -hmm. You know, when I start... Like stop drinking. ¿Cuál, cuál, es, cuál, es, cuál es como que what is, what is your normal creative process? Um, como que para para, para que, tú te, que tú te sientes bien fluida y, y de esa cuestión. Um, not being in a relationship has helped me. <laughs> no novio, not at all. Um, no novio. So if anybody's <laughs> out there. <laughs> I'm single. I'm a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> so, a fire sign would do. Any, any Aries? Um, are you Aries? What are you? Taurus. Both Tauruses? Yeah. What? That's a vibe. I love Tauruses. My mom's a Taurus. I get along with, I mean, we, we're both stubborn, so. It took us like 17 years to get along, but we're good now. I love Tauruses, though. They're always like my, they're like my mommies, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm like, oh gosh, just coddle me, please. And they cook, too. It's a great, sí. yeah. It's a great sí. feeling. No, yo nunca me he metido. You should start making TikToks. En verdad? Yeah. Lo he pensado, pero. I don't know, just think of something, like, you know. Es que no sé cómo, no, 
es que me he metido... Mi, mi novia de momento cogió como un... Ah, let's do TikToks. Y yo... No. Oh my God, couple TikToks. You guys should totally do it. Ah, uh, I would ship that. I would ¿Sí? definitely watch. ¿Sí? Like couple dancing TikToks. Yo. No, no, no. <laughs> He's like, no way. It's no, not thank happening. you. No, no. No, en verdad, lo he pensado porque es que hay que meterse, pero no me... No me llama. No me llama. No sé si... No sé si... It's like... No, you know what's crazy? I thought of the big-headed one. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it was, but I was just thinking about, like, myself as a person and what I would be like if I was dating somebody. And I was like, oh, when somebody compliments me, my head just gets really big. Claro. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, this is the perfect TikTok. Like, mm -hmm. that's just how I am. I'm just... I'm just very... My ego gets really fed. I'm like, oh my god, wait, you're saying I'm really pretty? That's so sweet of you. You know, like that's that's real life. It's not even a joke. And then I saw the filter and I was like, this is perfect. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know, but recently I've just been coming up with ideas. I'm actually helping a friend right now write a script for a television show. So I'm oh, just, like, I'm helping pretty cool. her with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I'm in that mood. Uh -huh. You know, I'm like, I gotta get the bag. Because hace poco, cuando fue que sal, hace poco salió el el último video, cierto? Uh, for what? El, tú estabas en publicidad, estás, estás promocionando el, el, un single. Oh, un video for, que for, um, for my song. Sí. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. What's the name of my own song? <laughs> Nothing like you. God damn, I Nothing suck. Nothing like you. Sí, 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 sí. <laughs> I was like, wait, what's the song called? Um, Nothing like you. Yeah, no. Um, we, you know, it was, it was crazy because when I thought about it. Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry. Ay. Damn. Oh, my God. I could totally do, like, those, um... ASMR. Like... See? It's like... It's up yeah. Sí, sí, sí. That's a vibe. Um, I would sleep to that. Uh, so, I... When we made... When we did Nothing Like You, I was... I wrote the song about a guy that I met. Okay. He's no longer in the picture. It's not really mad <laughs> 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 it's the saddest thing. So, okay, so siempre, like, you, I, like, it's always, always a real experience. Oh, Every song pretty, I've ever cool. written is about somebody. And it's nothing, it's never and do fake. do they know? Um, son como que... No, they don't. He doesn't know. He has no idea. Like, I met him. I don't even care if this comes. Like, literally, I can, I'll literally post it. Like, I, I, whatever. <laughs> whatever. So, I met this person and I was like, wow, we like really connect. And then, like, I was like writing the song. I was like, wow, I should really write a song about like, you know, meeting somebody and just kind of like seeing your future with that person. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when you like, I don't know what it is, you'll just meet somebody, you click and you just like, you're instant. Like, you just have like those fast forwarding thoughts. Sí. You know? Sí, sí, sí. Like, oh, I can see us rock climbing together. Like, I don't know. <laughs> In 10 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we can go grocery shopping for avocados. I don't know. Something different. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> I don't know. We did a farmer's market. Oh, together. farmer's market todo, together. And like, oh, yeah, go frisbee. I don't know. Do some weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and so and so like that's kind of like the concept that we had uh -huh. and so I don't know if you've ever seen the show Euphoria eh, sé cuál es, pero mi roommate yeah. Es super, oh yeah super, super big fan super big fan so we wanted the beginning of the video to uh -huh. be kind of like a Euphoria vibe mm -hmm. kind of like like colors and like kind of like Uh, talking over like do the intro like oh well I'm here and I really don't want to be here I'm in, mm -hmm. I'm like uh, I'm anxiety and that was another burp and um, <laughs> so we wanted that concept and I took it was it was just it's, it's funny because I, I took like like conversations and moments I had with that one person that I had a crush on or that I liked or whatever it was situationship <laughs> it's over <laughs> It's over. Um, and uh, it really sucks. Cause every time I write a song about the guy, it's just, it does not turn out good. So I'm just like, re I'm realizing I should just stop Pero writing records about it, guys. Uh -huh, so it's, is it before or after? I wrote this like before. It Sorry, the, 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 when you wrote the song. Yeah, like I saw so him. I literally saw him that night that after I'd written the song. Oh. In it. Yeah, it's so dumb. I'm not gonna give away too many details because <laughs> this person will know that I'm talking about it. I'm not gonna like, no, 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 <laughs> not gonna write. Right. Nothing not, like you. Nothing like you. And I'm not gonna name <laughs> you either. Disponible en las plataformas de audio y en YouTube. Oh my God, I'm. <laughs> whatever, I'm out there. Okay. Sí, sí, But sí. he, uh, he, you know, um. So yeah, I. I It was the first happy song I wrote about a guy because okay. I don't. I usually write like hate songs about dudes, like oh, okay. 
I don't need you. I got money, you know, mm-hmm. even though I don't have money, but I have, <laughs> I have what I have, you know, or like, you know, complicado, like being about like, you know, it's a complicated relationship and you're just stupid and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, so this is my first song that I ever written and my producer, <laughs> he's Puerto Rican too. <laughs> he was like, he's like, no, we're going to write a happy song today. And I was like, ugh, are you serious? Like, why? So I had to like dig deep and like find these feelings that I had for this person and like write but, about it. Uh, and but like, what do you do? What's the what's the process? Como que se tarda un día, se tarda not, una semana, un mes. Como que por sometimes ejemplo, it'll be in the weirdest place. Okay. En, en el carro. Oh. En el baño. En el baño. Oh. Those, those are oh, the todo best. El baño. Sí. <laughs> like Dude, always. I don't have anything, nowhere to write. Yeah. So it will just be like at like random times where I'll just be like. It has to be when I'm relaxed. Yeah. If I'm tensed up and like my mind will have anxiety and, and I won't is, think about it. It is usually tú sola o ejemplo. We Sometimes can be, by myself. But uh, maybe te pasa, a mí me pasa. Like when I'm with we, somebody. We, yeah, when yeah. We're having a conversation. Algo te pasa it, y tú, that no, has okay. happened. That's happened. Yeah. That's happened before. Or like sometimes I'll talk to a friend and they'll tell me about a situation. I'm like, ooh, song idea, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, because everything that I write, I want it to be organic. Sometimes I really want it to be something that I've experienced because then when I sing it, it means a lot pero, more to me. Pero el hecho de que yo siempre he tenido esta duda de la gente que canta. Eh, yo encuentro tan, tan grande el hecho de que una cosa es que tú cantes and you have mm. a beautiful voice, Thank you. ¿verdad? Mm-hmm. Oh, pero, I mean, yeah. <laughs> sí, pero... <laughs> like, ¿verdad? <laughs> y el hecho también que tú escribas. That's fucking, another fucking talent. Yeah. So, oh, man. I used to suck at writing. Ajá. Uh-huh. I eso used to suck at writing. writing. Is it a process? Or es como it's que tú... A, it, it, Writing is like working on any other like thing that you ever work on. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, okay, let's just say that you you do ed- video editing, right? Or yeah, like you, I, I learned. Yeah, I learned you it. learned. It's something that you that yeah. you learn over time. I used mm. to suck. My first song that I wrote, I was like eight years old, called mm. Latin Girls. The stupidest song I've ever written in my entire life. <laughs> it was dumb. Like I was like, we're Latin girls. It was so dumb. I don't even want to sing it. I don't remember it, but it was something like that. And um, I, I just had books and books and books of songs. Uh-huh. Um, I play the guitar, so like I usually write the music on the guitar. But um, I've gotten so much better, mm-hmm. <laughs> like on on a different level. Like, um, did you like? Uh, so, you so do, do, do you have mentors? Like? Um, no, it was mainly like a lot of it was by myself. Um, I, I I did a lot of things by myself. Mm-hmm. But I'm always open to collaborate with people. I love collaborating because then it takes a lot off my shoulders mm-hmm. and I don't feel like I have to like think because sometimes like sometimes my idea isn't the best. You know what I mean? So I like to have other people there to be like, oh, yeah, you need this. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, the one thing I'm working on right now is like more melodies. Yeah. And making sure that the melody is amazing because lyrics are great. But the melody, the reason why certain people remember certain songs because the melody's bomb. You know what I mean? De acuerdo. Like, um, like that one song that Rihanna did, like, um, oh gosh, uh, Umbrella. Umbrella. Sí. Exactly. The, oh, exactly. See, misma, that was good. That was sí, good. Sí. So, like, um, that type of melody. Umbrella, yeah. Ella, Ella, A. Eh. Yeah, yeah type sí, of sí. that. Like, that is just catchy. Like, so when I did Complicado, we were like, Complicado, Cado, me quiere para ti, mm. pero te no trae la ola. Like, that's just catchy, mm. you know? So we wanted to make sure that, um, or I just want to make sure that everything I do is just like a catchy record. Like, it sticks in your head. Yeah. You know, and that, that, that relies on the melody and the lyric. Mm, you know? Okay. Sí, sí, te the track's dope, but like, the melody and the lyric. Exacto. Y entonces como que, primero escribes y después buscas el track. <sighs> oh, I have to write, a, I have to like, right oh well, i don't know sometimes it, it differs because like i'll hit i hear a track that is just really bad mm-hmm. and i can't write to it and it will sound bad we like i've had i've had like i've had producers send me mm-hmm. like tracks and i'm like i can't write to any of these mm-hmm. i remember when i started writing to like r&b songs and i it was horrible i'll like i remember when i first started writing to like hip-hop r&b songs sí. i tried to be like cardi b and i was like mm-hmm. oh yeah no this is not working christina mm-hmm. but i'm better now Sí. Like now, I am. I've worked on it. Y, y cómo, cómo empezaste como que tu trayectoria de, de artista y sabes cómo, cómo empezó todo. Porque lleva, lleva un montón de tiempo, ¿cierto? Como que lleva varios años ya en, el, en todo esto. Como que cuando tú te consideras que, oh, cuando, que empezaste a cogerte en serio, que de mí, o sea, a, a, 
a como que let me start taking this a lot more seriously mm. let me focus mm. on it a little bit more oh, that was like two years ago okay those años yeah it was like two years ago like i i had just gotten out of a relationship mm -hmm. and um i mean i had been on like univision like despierta america and like um Pero y como, y como llegaste allí? that was like uh it was 2016 okay uh i did my song veneno Oh, and then nice. oh my god, I was so nervous. And we're laughing. Oh my god, I was I was like I stood on the stage like right before they sh right before they aired, mm -hmm. and I was like, "You can run away now, and nobody would care." <laughs> like I don't know, like that was my instant, like my first instinct. I was like, <laughs> "Oh man," because I remember William um, Valdez, William Valdez, I think it's like some some guy. He's like el el que abre el... Ah, what is his name? We can Google it. Yeah, Google it. I mean production. <laughs> he's in production. <laughs> Um, gosh, what was it? Anyways, I just remember this guy, the Cuban actor. About this? Yes. Okay, so I when he, he I found out he was gonna interview me. Okay. I was like, oh, okay. like, and this was when like my span. Obviously, like you know, I'm you know I can I can get pretty like insecure mm -hmm. about my about my spiders. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so I was like, okay, bet like this is cool. And so I get on stage and I even said it like I'm I answering the questions and I go. <laughs> He goes, what's the one thing you're insecure about? Or like, what's the one thing you want to work on? You want to tell people? I was like, oh, the my Spanish is not that great. He goes, oh, I think you're doing great. And I was like, okay. And then, yeah, it was great though. It was very nerve wracking. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So fue en el 2016. Uh, again? En el, eso fue en el 2016. Yeah. 2016. Yeah, 2016. Nice. Y December fue, 2016. Pero hiciste ven, eso fue con veneno. Yeah, veneno. In, in Spanglish. Y... Everything that I do is in Spanglish mainly because that's they, how I am. But did they discover you? Or no, 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 no. Que, so this is what happened. Or you moved? <laughs> so, como que tú moviste, or bueno. so this is the story. So Tell it. I was doing... People want to know. I did a cover because I was okay. just doing covers on YouTube. I didn't have money for new music. I didn't have anything. I didn't have like a... Like I was working as a waitress. I was doing so much. Mm -hmm. And I... um. I just remember working my ass off mm -hmm. and I did, my ex-boyfriend was in Puerto Rico at the time and he was like cheating on me. Ha, sorry to put you out there. <laughs> um, he, he, I don't really care. He cheated on me and I was or, like hooking up with some chick, I don't know. And I was like, bet. And I was like, I remember just not being able to eat, but I got this inspiration to like do a cover song of Justin Bieber's like Love Yourself. Mm -hmm. And so I made the, I, I, he had just come out with that song. Like, you should go and love yourself. That's song. Mm -hmm. I made it into a girl version. Mm -hmm. And so when I, I remember filming it literally in front of my camera backdrop was literally a bed sheet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like nothing, no makeup. Basically I was emotional and I recorded it and I woke up the next morning to it being on me too and 200,000 views. Fuck. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> I was like, wait, what's going on? And so I remember Univision um, Creator Network called mm -hmm. me. They emailed me um, from YouTube. Yeah. They were like, we're really interested in like you joining our like creator group, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I'm like, what is this? And he goes, we want you to make more content on YouTube. Um, we believe in you and da, 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 da. We have this like, we have this whole thing going on where we're trying to get artists on YouTube Damn. and like move them. And I was like, okay, cool. So I started, I went out to LA. I remember, I remember going out to LA recording Veneno and um, they backed me up through everything. Wow. It was like, it was such a, it was an experience because like they put me in a, in a commercial with Juanes mm -hmm. where I did a Honda commercial for him. Okay. And um, I still remember like, um, what was it? It was like, um, oh, I did a commercial for him and it was for Honda and we, we shot it out in LA and it was, we did like six episodes for it. <laughs> and, um, it was just such an experience. They, they took me to the Grammys, the Latin Grammys, and I got mm -hmm. to walk the red carpet. Um, and then I remember the guy who, who found me on YouTube to be part of it. He, he, uh, called me. He's like, we're trying to get you on this bit of Dominica. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, yeah, we want you to perform Veneno on at the Spirit of America. And I was like, oh my God. Damn. And I just remember being like, this can't be real. Like, that's something that my abuela used to watch. You know what I mean? Like the Spirit of America. Uh -huh, you know? uh -huh. And it was just like such a surreal feeling. Um, to, But you know what the crazy thing was? I didn't take advantage of it as much as I should have at that time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which I regret because I was still in that really messed up relationship with that person. 
that I was just not focused. Like, like I wasn't grabbing at these opportunities. Like I had, they were there, but it was like, I could have gotten more if I just focused more on me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, 100%. making more content, doing more things. I was just slacking. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so my last thing that I did with them was a Honda commercial for Juanes and, um, we filmed, it was like a two day process. And then, then, then I went, they took me to Miami to go meet him and it was a great experience. And then, um, yeah, that was my, that, that, that was crazy. Cause then, then around that time I broke up with my ex and I cut off all my hair <laughs> and kind of just got wild. Rebel. Got a bunch of tattoos, pierced my body and, uh, went to Africa for a little bit. Nice. Uh, just, Got real weird, you know. Mm -hmm. But the thing was, is like this was always me. I just, I, I wish that I, t I wish I would have realized that sooner, you know, mm -hmm. because there were so many things that were that were in my hands that I just didn't acknowledge and take care of, and like. I'm just like, gosh, sometimes I'm just like, I want to go back, you know, because like it was it was such a great experience. I'm not saying that like now everything's still a great experience because I'm I'm I'm. I'm so focused, like see, see. tunnel vision focused. I wouldn't like everything that I, that's happened to me. I wouldn't change it for the world, like because I've I've learned so much, mm -hmm. you know. But what I've realized is that my career is not going to leave me. Okay. <laughs> but I get I get the refiere. What, what do you mean by that? Como que I mean like leave you. my career is something that is going to stay with me because, like, it's mine. Mm -hmm. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna leave me because yeah. I, I worked so freaking hard for it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, that's why I'm not really in a rush to be with, be in like a relationship or. I'm not saying that relationships are bad. <laughs> I'm just mm -hmm. the kind of person that's like, if I get into one, I know how I am. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh, peace out, music career. I want to focus on him for a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm just like, I can't do that to myself. Oh, yeah. Balance. Balance I'm so super like, I'm like, I'm, I'm a hopeless romantic. Yeah. That's me. Mm -hmm. I, I've always been like that. I mean, mm -hmm. I've like, honestly, that's why I'm like, nope. A guy comes to me, I'm like, swerve, no way. I'm good. <laughs> like, there's no way. Like, like, I've been single for two years and that's, that's my career has been good. It has its up and ups and downs, obviously, sí. but I have made a name for myself as mm -hmm. opposed to how I was when I was on Despierta America. Lo que yo he aprendido con el tiempo, yo, yo estuve soltero antes de conocer a mi novia. Eh, casi cuatro años. Wow. Y, Four years. Yeah. Wow. Y, y en ese proceso, pues, me mudé, yeah. me mudé acá. Yeah. O sea, en, y estuve aquí un año y pico, un año y medio, casi dos años acá. Mm -hmm. Antes de conocerla. Llevamos un año ya. Pero lo que aprendí en este como que shift de yeah. single y yeah. having to share a life with someone. Yeah. Es que... It's a different world. Es que cuando, cuando tú tienes ya... When you're so focused on you, nothing else matters. Yeah. Entonces cuando encuentras a esa persona, it's just good to share what you have and share what they have. When the, it's the right person. Exacto. Do you know what I mean? When you have the right person that supports you mm -hmm. and wants to see you win just as much as you want to Exacto. see them win you're gonna win but mm -hmm. when you're with somebody that's selfish and doesn't want you to win because they're insecure sí, about cuando, themselves sí, cuando una relación tóxica, yeah una no i was in a toxic relationship mm -hmm. that's why i wrote complicado like i wrote complicado a month before we broke up i was like yeah this talks about you boy. and so i just remember shooting the music video and i was like i want it to be like this because it's literally what happened mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. how i wish i would have handled it i'm not crazy because i'm not the kind of crazy i'm not the kind of person that's like oh you cheat on me i'm gonna key your car yeah, yeah, yeah. no or i'm slash your tires or slash your tires <laughs> the worst thing i've ever done is throw my bracelet at my ex's house yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it i've literally i've literally <sighs> boo let me tell you after we broke up i saw him man that coffee hits you different <laughs> Ahora, It's really good. ¿Te gustó? Yeah. Sí. Por eso. After all this. Café en mano. <laughs> nice. It's good. Cheers. Mm. Salud. 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 <laughs> oh, you have a little cup too. Sí. Esta taza es... es How's vibey? <laughs> I dig that. <laughs> eh, me estaba, ajá, me estaba contando sobre... I gotta get my merch. Sí. <laughs> Literally. Sí, sí, sí. I got to. Like, no joke. I, Yo I've just been, like, giving hugs at, at concerts. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have anything, but here's a hug to remember me by. <laughs> or a picture. Or, or a picture. Or let me sign your face. Sí. <laughs> It's weird. Um, sí, sí. Eh, en verdad, el merch a mí me tripea porque... Eh, Do you have shirts yet? 
tengo esta, oh, pero yeah. Oh, yeah. son... How pero, nice though. I like that. Yeah, pero son pa, son pa mí, en verdad, porque very few people, como que los que no tienen el podcast, they're not gonna buy a shirt that says Café Mano. Podcast, ¿entiendes? Mm. A menos que they know the podcast. Right. It's so, a cool shirt, though. But bueno, I like I like the the um the pattern on it. It's oh, like yeah. this weird, like rigid vibe. Sí. I, I dig it. Están disponibles en Café Mano Podcast. Swipe up now <laughs> and get your Café Mano T-shirt. <laughs> Comes in, cr comes in crop tops. <laughs> <laughs> También, <was good. laughs> That's hilarious. Eh. Um, but yeah, so, wait, what was I talking about? My ex? Oh, yeah. Wait. Sí, de, de no, de como que when you, when <laughs> I love it. A, I, I, I love talking shit about him on podcasts. It's amazing. De, <laughs> no, yeah, we were talking about toxic relationships. Oh, yeah, the toxic relationships. I'm never, no, I think that's my fear of why I don't want to be in one mm -hmm. is because I I've always had a habit of yeah. being in one. Sí, 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 sí. You know what I mean? Like, just, because I'm a giver. My love language is giving and mm -hmm. like affection and my ex was just opposite of all of that. So, um, I've, I, I also learned one thing is like, I'm at first before we, Pero broke, hace dos años atrás. we were together for f almost five years. Okay. Sí, sí, really have a, have a decade. Huh? So in half dec in half oh, a decade. Oh, half a decade. Yeah. yeah. It was almost, it was very weird. I, we, yeah, it was, you know, mm -hmm. it was, mm, It's okay. I learned a lot, though. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about myself, to be honest. I can't. I, I can't always say that he was he was a horrible person, but he was young. We mm -hmm. were both young, and you make decisions in life, and you, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but it made me a stronger person. That's one I'm, one thing I can say, yeah. and that's that's what I always tell like my fans, or I tell like anybody that asks me for advice, um, because I after like. After it, we broke up, I had like a revelation, mm -hmm. and because I was suicidal, like mm -hmm. I was, I was like just close to ending it yeah. for myself because I yeah. wasn't happy. Um, and he it, it, he added to that. It wasn't just like saying it was all him, but I was just not mentally stable mm -hmm. um, because I was so damaged from lack of self love and lack of finding myself and not knowing who I was because I was, I thought like I, when I, when I, when I was in love with him, he was my world. And mm -hmm. so I didn't know who I was as a person mm -hmm. because when I was in love with him, I just forgot about me. So sure. I, um, I, I got this, I got a tattoo with three, 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 mm -hmm. um, basically to remind myself that like, I'm, I'm good and God's got me and yeah, yeah. you know, like I'm like, I'm not alone, mm -hmm. you know? Um, because there's going to be bad days and good days and just to remember that a lot of the bad days are temporary. Sí, el, yo, <laughs> yo estoy ahora mismo en una misión mm -hmm. de, I'm trying to do podcasts every day, mm -hmm. daily podcasts. Y pues yo divido este podcast en, en tres secciones. Mm. Estas entrevistas, um, and like, uh, mo motivational or just stuff que me encuentro mm -hmm. por las redes y I just talk about them. Or different thoughts, process. They're short. Yeah. Pero hace poco saqué uno que se llama La Felicidad Opcional. Yeah. It was basically the gist of the lo que estoy diciendo. I love that though. Yeah, it's like, es que real, como que you yeah. decide. I listen to those all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the time. Like I listen, I'm like, yes, tell me that everything's going to be okay. <laughs> so, básicamente, eh, lo que digo es que um, there's always going to be It, but estos días son, son necesarios the, yeah. the bad days yeah. because we learn from them yes y a la misma vez no nos podemos nunca olvidar de, de ese blue sky yeah. you know like eh. not everything's dark exacto and I think that especially when you're younger you assume that the that the world's ending so mm -hmm. quick in your head and as an as I've got adulted I'm 26 now and I have lost people to death and just in general and it just made me realize that like everything's temporary and just to enjoy life and not to take everything so seriously because uh -huh. at the end of the day like you know especially like with social media and like everything going on it's like we we take numbers so seriously and like mm -hmm. it's like that episode of freaking black mirror sí, <laughs> like yeah. everybody takes it so seriously and i'm just like life is too short to be worried about this type of stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. es el el este el episodio que es como que about ratings de other people oh yeah that episode is so it's so crazy because yeah. I'm like this is real life sí, sí, when sí. people see my Instagram they get weird with me what do you mean like they just get weird they're like oh you're verified that's so crazy like you know 
in LA, they don't care. Yeah. Here, they care. It's not mm. the, here. I mean, in LA, they care. Yeah, but it's like my numbers in LA are nothing. Yeah, yeah. Super I have a hundred and like something thousand, and people in LA are like, "Oh, that's like small potatoes." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." You know, I'm sorry, I don't have three point three million. You know, like, but here in Atlanta, it's a big deal. And like, like, that's why I don't really like to date, especially here, because people get guys get weird. Oh guys God. are weird, man. They're weird. Mm. They're just like. They want to talk to you because song. you have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then, no. Like, oh wow, you must. I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, stop. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't even give guys my Instagram half the time. I'm like, do you have? They're like, do you have one? I'm like, no. I'm off the grid. <laughs> I'm off the grid, and then they see me on it. And I'm like, oh no, this is my friend's Instagram. It's not mine. <laughs> I'm not her. I'm not her. That's not me. It's my <laughs> twin. <laughs> yeah. So like, I just kind of like, I kind of just try not to. I don't try to give anybody. Pero esto fue con el tiempo. That you learned this. That como que llegué, tú llegaste aquí y como que, te, como que ya tú tenías pues your, your following mm -hmm. y te diste cuenta que las personas they were different. Yeah. Like, Cuando, oh, shit. Yeah. Like with my uh, Instagram followers? Mm -hmm. Like that I was different? Bueno, well, the people that, that oh. que tú, lo, como que los interactions y toda esta cuestión cuando tú se enteraban de tu Instagram. <sighs> It's like so weird. I don't know. Like, sometimes I want to deactivate it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I want to give up. Like, uh -huh. I'm like, I just want to live in the woods in a tent. <laughs> like, I'm over this. Like, I'm over it. By the way, can we take a pause? I have to use the bathroom. Ah, That's see, why see. I've been moving so no, much. No, 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 I'm no. like, no fucking way. This cannot be happening. <laughs> Fuck I coffee, man. Hola. Este... <laughs> pues, ajá, pues, ¿qué tienes? What, what's, what, what's got you motivated in estos últimos... Ahora. What motivates me? Yeah. Um, my family. Mi familia. ¿Verdad? Mm-hmm. ¿Y tienes como que new projects que como que... Oh, yeah. I have so many. ¿Verdad? Y algo so que puedas many. como que aquí decir en el podcast. Oh, yeah. This fans. is one of them. This is one of them. This is one of my new projects. ¿Verdad? This. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pues, bienvenido, gente. I'm like trying to get on this. Like, let's see. Hmm. Aquí el lighting está. Perfect. Live. Ah, en verdad. Mm -hmm. Nice. If it, anybody actually goes on it, I hate going on live. Oh, my God. Dang it. I'm not really a live person. No, you don't poco. Don't really do it. Me da a questions. Dang. I know. Uh-huh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, okay, hi. Okay, uh -huh. what's the next question? Pues que sí, que te tienen que... ¿Qué otros proyectos tienes que te tienen motivada? Oh, yeah, so... ¿Proyectos? Uh-huh, like projects. Okay, so... um. New projects coming up. I have uh, some really great news okay. um, for March, actually. ¿En verdad? Mm-hmm. Esto va a salir ya... I can't say anything yet, but it's pretty great. Okay. But there's only in March that's going to happen. Pero uh, un la, como decimos los boricua. Like, uh, you have, like, como que alguna primicia, something, nada. No podemos saber nada. Because... <laughs> ah, okay. It has to do with basketball. Okay, okay. Really? Yeah, if you have a like idea. Okay, I, basketball. Yeah. Like NBA. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Nice. Um. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Yeah. So, and then um, I'm gonna be coming out with an EP. Mm-hmm. It's so super emocionada for that. So, I've got that going on. And then, um, what else? Oh, I'm going to. Be interviewed by Luis uh, 105.3 Lasse uh -huh. at iHeart. Oh, nice. Like this I next think, week. Yo creo que es puertorriqueño. ¿Sí? ¿Es he? I Thanks. don't know. I think so. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. All Boricos know each other. And so it's like, <laughs> literally, if you're 10% Puerto Rican, they're like, Fubla Boricua. Like, that's literally what it is. I just need earrings that say that, like, I'm Puerto Rican. Sí, que digan tu nombre, que digan bien grande Cristina. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, and then I have... Um, a couple festivals coming out during the summer, so I'm just like waiting for those to happen. And nice. I just uh, yeah, a lot of TikToks <laughs> and making a lot of TikToks in that time span. Like I'm gonna make so many. I'm gonna be like a TikTok queen. No, I'm gonna stop. Um, honestly, I, I keep hitting up my friend, and I'm like, I keep telling her, I'm like, dude, you gotta stop me, man. Uh -huh. It's like a drug. I'm addicted. Uh -huh. Like I'm addicted to making TikToks. It's, sí, it's sí. so annoying. Like I'll literally be like, mm, "What am I gonna make today?" And I'm like, "But they're funny. Keep doing them. Fuck it." They're fun. Exactly. I'm like, they have to be funny. Like I don't want it to be just like, "Oh, I'm hot and attractive," and that's pretty much that. Like uh -huh. that's like, I don't, I'm like, 
Okay, first off, growing up in school, I didn't have my looks to, like, be based off of. Like, it wasn't just, like, <laughs> uh-huh. I didn't, like, nobody looked at me and was like, yeah, she's a fine tomato. Like, no, I was the girl that, like, to be cool, it was my sense of humor. So I mm-hmm. only had my jokes to, like, really get, to, like, get across. I only had my jokes to not be punched in the face yeah. in school. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, like, somebody would try to swing. I'm like, do you want to hear a joke? You know what I mean? Or, like... I just, that's kind of how I saved myself. Sí, era tu, este, como que... It was childhood trauma that saved me. <laughs> Pero por eso el mismo, el, el, el humor era tu, tu defensa. Yeah. yeah. Um, Yo creo que el de todo. Yo creo que el mío es el sarcasmo y el, como que, yo uso mucho el sarcasmo a veces y a veces como que, no debería ser sarcástico en este momento. <laughs> yeah, la pero verdad. Con el, pero con el tiempo, I've learned to not be sarcastic. I'm so sarcastic. It's probably the most annoying th- part about me. Like, I think it's to a point where, like, some of my friends are like, are you being serious? I'm like, no. But, but yes. But, but yeah. Like, I'm like, <laughs> no. But, like, did I hurt your feelings? I'm sorry. But yeah, sorry. Like, my brother is the worst, though. My uh-huh. brother is the worst sarcastic person ever. En verdad. So bad. Like, he's like, you would never think he's joking. Uh-huh. Like I've gotten into fights with him because I genuinely think he's serious. We've literally gotten into fights. <laughs> like it's that bad. I'm like, dude, it's not funny. It's easy. And he's like, he's like, you know, you just don't understand. And I'm like, no, dude, you just need a friggin' smile. Maybe when you tell a joke or something, uh-huh. like you just are a dry wall. It's easy. So, um, but yeah, no, I've always had my sense of humor. Like if I wasn't a singer, I'd probably want to be a comedian. And but, but, but you Facts. never know. You never know. You never know. If this doesn't work out, I might as well just like change careers. ¿Por qué no? En lo cantas por las mañanas y por las noches vas a stand up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start doing it. I'm gonna go to New York and like start a new gig, and then like I'll just go. Yeah, I'll, no, I think I, I think I'd be funny. Like I've like I've always been like, oh, you know, if this doesn't work out, like I could just like go and do that. But then I like think about it. And I'm like, that's a lot of work. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Like being a comedian is a lot of work. Like that's a lot of memorization that you have to remember on stage Ajá. for Eso a full y, hour. Sí, porque una cosa es como y también que el el estar escribiendo constantemente. Oh my god, no way. Sí, sí. I don't know. Like I'm more of those person that kind of person that's like I can't really write my jokes. It's kind of no, like pero, natural. No, imagínate que cuánto usualmente cuando tú escribes algo, una canción. Mm, yeah. Tu canción es que tres dos minutos, tres minutos. Cuando oh. estás en un stage, o sea, yo poniéndome aquí hablando de lo que escuchan los comediantes. Son 30 minutos. Tú so, tienes que escribir... Viste, si estás haciendo un, un yeah. uno solo, pero me entiendes que está... Es I mean, minutos, like practicing it and stuff. Claro, pero still. O sea, I don't know. I'm good. I, I don't think I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I think I'm just going to be one of those people that's like, oh, I just want to be... If I want to be sarcastic, I'll go on stage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because like when I'm, when I'm on stage and I'm doing a show or I'm performing, I kind of just have a habit of just like... Um, especially if things get, get weird and like the mic acts weird, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> this mic, let me tell you. I, don't know, I, don't know, I can't really tell you right now. But like when but, I'm on stage, it's like a whole different story. Pero cuando... Did you have like... Cuando empezaba a... a cuando, te, cuando te paras en stage, te dan como que... Did you get the, the, the butterflies? I used to. I mean, I still do. I mean, I feel like if you don't get butterflies before you go on stage, then uh-huh. it doesn't really mean anything to you. Exacto, exacto. Um, but I, I genuinely feel at home on stage. I have a mm. tendency of like wanting to connect with the crowd. I like to like get them involved and make them laugh. Uh huh. Sí que como que yo me hace crowd. I find work. myself funny. You are funny. Thanks. <laughs> I just wanted to hear it. High sí, praise. Sí. <laughs> hey, King. Um, and I just kind of um. I, I, I wanted to be all around like something that was more like relatable, mm-hmm. you know, because I never found myself like sexy. Yeah. I, I don't consider myself sexy. Um, I consider myself real, mm-hmm. um, weird, honest, uh, and, and just odd. Like that's how I've always considered myself. I never considered myself like, Ooh, she's, she's a sexy, fine piece of ass. Like, sorry, excuse my, excuse my French, you can bleep that out. <laughs> but it's like, I, I, I never had that growing up. And so, like, I remember when I was shooting Complicado, uh-huh. the guy was like, be sexy. And I'm like, how do you do that? Like, I'm just like, how do you do that? Like, I had to be on this guy. And I'm just like, oh, this is such a weird territory because I'm not that kind of person. I'm not. Sí, sí. Tú, mientras más, yo pienso que mientras más honesto uno sea, más, mejor. No importa que, what type of, yeah. type of art te esté demostrando. Yeah. Si I mean, everybody vida. has their thing. Yeah. Like, like you, you got, like, Caliuchis, who, like, who is sexy beyond compare. Like, she's amazing. And I, like, watch her and I'm like, damn, mm-hmm. she, like, she just has sexy. That's her thing. You know yeah. what I mean? 
or like Rihanna or like all these other artists or like or like and then, then you see like people like Katy Perry who are just like awkward but uh-huh. funny and pretty you know what I mean like people have their own thing and I've just I never wanted to be mm-hmm. the Latina that people are like oh because you know people already associate Latinas with being sexy and spicy and da 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 and I'm I feel like that can be me but I'm kind of like mm-hmm. so kind of the opposite sort of um, cause I never had that to hold on to growing up. I never yeah. had, I was never the cool girl in school. So mm-hmm. I only had my sense of humor. And yeah. so that's what I find. I find, I find my sense of humor sexy, mm-hmm. you know, cause I feel like if I can make somebody laugh, like, or if anybody can make me laugh, that's the way to my heart. You make me laugh. Claro. It's hard to make me laugh. No, I'm just joking. That's how I'm with you. It's hard to make me laugh. So, it's like of the so if you can make me laugh. <laughs> then you might have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Oh, Isa's on. He says, hi. Yes, queen. Saludo, saludo, Isa. Saludo. Es que saludo. los que están escuchando el, el podcast, oh. eh, este podcast, eh, Christy se dio un live ahora mismo. Qué fermano. Exacto, Café Mano Podcast en todas las plataformas. <laughs> <laughs> This is a really good podcast. This eh, is good. I had a good time. Entonces, Andrés. Eh, bueno, ya llevamos, diría yo, como, like, almost an hour. Saludos. Almost an hour. Saludos. <laughs> Hi, guys. This is good. Hi. Y... Exitos. So, algo para acabar el podcast. What, I know that hablamos del 2016, de cuando empezó todo en la época de Univision. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Desde allá hasta acá, what do you think that's the most valuable lesson que tú has tenido en todo ese tiempo y que te ha ayudado en el día a día hoy. Uh, like, just simply to work in, uh, don't, in day to day. Um, don't listen to the noise. That's, like, one of my main things that I could tell anybody in this industry is, like, don't listen to what people say. Like, don't don't try to follow the crowd. Don't mm-hmm. try to um, impress mm-hmm. people um, because I think that, that with that, you just lose, you lose the true entity of who you are <laughs> and you kind of get lost in the sauce, basically. And, um, don't focus on, don't focus on social media, focus on, if you really care about something, you're going to care about it because you love it. Don't do it because you want to become famous or any of that bullshit. It's Mm -hmm. like, that's not why I do what I do. I don't do this just because I want to like, Ooh, I want to be famous and I want to be known. Like I, I, like I do, but it's in a way of like, I love to make music because I love it. I've been Mm -hmm. doing this since I was a kid. Yeah. You know, like it's like, uh, like. I've met a lot of people that are so vain and are so caught up in titles and what where what you've done and who you are and everything like that. And I could care less, mm-hmm. you know. And I think that that's one thing. Be careful with who you surround yourself with in this in this world, um, or even just in any type of job. Just be careful with who you surround yourself with because mm-hmm. that type of energy can affect you. Yeah. And um, just don't don't listen to again the noise like i think just listen if something feels good to you do it mm-hmm. you know i think um i wish i had somebody that was on my side growing up i mean besides my parents but yeah. somebody that i could talk to and lean on and i didn't really have that so imagine like 14 years doing this by yourself yeah. you know it's a long time you see, know see. and don't <laughs> don't when you're in a relationship and you're doing this just remember that the person su- should support you in the process of you being with, like doing what you love. Yeah. You know, you should both support each other. If it's one-sided, it's not the kind of relationship you want. Yeah. Period. Creo que ma- lo que dijiste, me acuerdo mucho, there's, um, there's a quote from Mark Twain que dice, okay. um, whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect. Yeah. No, it's totally right. Yeah. Like, I think I, I sometimes just... Just be honest with yourself. That's all I can really say. If you're not honest with yourself, people are going to see right through that and they're just going to be like, that's not authentic. Mm-hmm. You know? And I think that the more authentic you are, the more people can relate to you. You know? Because I want to relate to people. I don't want to be just like some person that's just like, oh, I'm doing this and I'm so bougie. Like, yeah. I want to relate to everybody because I, I'm not perfect in any kind of way, like mm-hmm. at all. You know? Um, bueno, ha sido un placer tenerte aquí. Un placer. Gracias. <risa> el primer, por el, 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 entrevista, el por, por la entrevista. Es perfecto. <risa> el primer podcast Spanglish. Que Spanglish. Oficial. Oh, really? Sí. La verdad. Sí, oh sí, my sí. God. This was his first Spanglish podcast, you guys. <risa> oh my God. Hey, guys. La primera. Let's go. Eh, I'm over here just 
Starting trends. Eh, espero que la hayas pasado bien. Dile a toda la gente dónde conseguirte, dónde pueden escucharte. Where do we where do we find you? Okay, well, um, the website I'm still working on it. The website I'm still working on, okay. um, but uh, mainly Instagram or Twitter or um, my Facebook page, which is Christina Music. So it's mm -hmm. R I S T N A Music, and then Instagram is uh, Christy Quinones. So C R S T Y Q U I N O N E S, and that's for Twitter as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they will not change it. Because I'm verified, and so it's supposedly if I change it, I'll lose my verification. So oh, okay. it sucks. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. everybody calls me Christy, and I'm like, stop it, <laughs> stop calling me Christy. It's I got I made this in 2015. Like I just stop calling me that. Yeah. So yeah. Sí, sí. Yeah. Este, bueno, si no, pueden ver las notas del episodio. También en Spotify, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Spotify as well. I'm putting it at you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, Spotify is Christina. So C R S T N A. Okay. Christina. Yeah, it's super easy. It's like sí. Christina with only one. Okay. No, si no, pues, you, you can see it on las notas del episodio. Eh, a mí me pueden conseguir y este podcast lo pueden conseguir en cafemanopodcast.com. Ahí están eh, Apple, iTunes, eh, YouTube, Spotify, todas las plataformas. Eh, acuérdense de suscribirse, dejar los reviews, gente. Es, es tan importante dejar los reviews. Please. Y si están escuchando, si, si están escuchando, screenshot, stories, todo. Share, ¿ok? Así que, um, gracias. Y... Gracias. I don't even know where the cameras are. Um, <laughs> uh, probably not on that side. <laughs> Hasta la I próxima, a lot gente. Of shit today. Y gracias, Cristi. Thank you so much. You've been iconic. Gracias.